Most of the medical problems today have an initiating factor. It's just that the traditional medical and dental uh, people do not have the skill level to make that diagnosis. Got out of the military in 1971 and set up a private practice in Newtown, Pennsylvania, which is about two miles from this location here. I did, you know, conventional dentistry at the time. And um, after a while, I, you get bored like anything else. So there was a bunch of uh, courses that I would take, postgraduate courses. And one in particular uh, was in 1971, uh, given by a doctor, Nathan Allen Shore, on TMJ, temporomandibular joint. And uh, at the break, I went over to him and I said, Dr. Shore, there's so many symptoms that are related to TMJ. Uh, what's the relationship? He says, I don't know, but maybe you'll find out. So he planted the seed. That was the first um, uh, seed that initiated my, my direction where I'm at today. The second one was in 1982, and I joined a uh, chiropractic study group in Marlton, New Jersey. And I was exposed to chiropractic, which I really didn't have too much of a background, and it really opened up my eyeballs. And one of the chiropractors invited me to a chiropractic postgraduate course in the Meadowlands. I spent a week in there, and it just kind of got me excited to see a structural and a relationship. And the third seed that uh, germinated was in 1995. Uh, I studied with Dietrich Klinghart in Seattle, Washington. And he's an MD, PhD, brilliant uh, mentor. And he opened up my eyeballs to a whole new horizon of interrelationships between the mouth and the rest of the body to the point where uh, today I comfortably can state that 70 to 90% of all medical problems have their origin in the mouth. Once I had this uh, broad perspective of how the body was working, it literally took me uh, 35 years to connect the dots of how the occlusion, your bite, and uh, other aspects of your mouth, infections in the mouth, uh, correlated with, with the rest of the body. And uh, I wrote my first book in 1983, Cranial Dental Sacral Complex, which was probably one of the first books that truly integrated dental, medical, chiropractic, osteopathic, physical therapy, and nutrition and acupuncture concepts. Basically, I came into uh, contact with the frequencies uh, through my chiropractor. In 1997, my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. She went and had a lumpectomy, which, uh, you know, was conservative treatment. But the pathology report said that they missed a the margin. There was still some uh, carcinoma in situ or cancerous cells there. Interestingly, the chiropractor we went to, Warren Froberg, introduces to the Rife uh, frequency machine. And we bought one. And uh, my wife was treating herself uh, every other day for two months. When she had the second surgical procedure to get what they claimed they missed, the pathology report came back and said, there was no cancer cells. So I'm saying to myself, well, where did they go? The other interesting factor was I had a patient refer to me from Michigan, Detroit. Biopsy, 100% breast cancer. Uh, husband brought her down. I evaluated her. I said, the cancerous area on the breast is loaded with mercury. I said, when you get back home, find a dentist that knows what they're doing, remove the mercury properly. I put her on a nutritional program and they bought a rife machine from me. Well, the wife didn't buy into the whole natural approach. Two and a half months later, she panicked and had the breast removed. The pathology report came back, says it was all normal. The cancer disappeared in two and a half months. So at that point, I knew frequencies were real and it worked clinically. It, it all goes back to the 1930s when uh, Royal Raymond Reif invented a microscope, universal microscope, with a special prism to stain the pathogens with light. And when he got the exact color that they vibrated at, it literally exploded the pathogen, whether it be a virus or bacteria. And he coined the term uh, mortal oscillatory frequency, meaning the kill frequency. So he then worked with Lee DeForest, who was the inventor of the vacuum tube, and they put together what they call a rife generator. So that they literally could broadcast specific frequencies for specific uh, cancer viruses or bacteria or fungi or whatever. I saw what it did to my wife, so I started to use it 
uh, you know, my clinical practice because it was so effective. There are practitioners using frequency therapy around the world uh, because they see that it can do things that drugs or even homeopathics can accomplish. Those that are enlightened uh, know the value of the frequency and they'll integrate it into their practice. I uh, have very sophisticated electronic equipment from Germany that has a Tesla coil in it. So I literally can take a vitamin, uh, I can take a liquid, like a, an elixir, um, I can take a drug, put it on the plate where the Tesla coil is, and the energy field will actually capture the essence or the frequency of that substance and put it into a database in a computer, which then I can use to imprint into water or the Tesla energy card or uh, a bracelet or a pendant. You can pretty much uh, use it anyway. When you can take somebody that's been in chronic pain, like the patient that he had the swollen liver for 27 years, in seven months I flipped him around, or uh, had a patient from Florida that had stage three melanoma, they almost killed him with oral chemo. In four months, his cancer was totally gone. We had another patient with stage four throat cancer, and when he told the, his uh, oncologist at the local hospital around the corner that he was going alternative, he says, it's a farce, you're wasting your time and money. In three weeks, his cancer was gone, and the doctor wouldn't talk to him when he asked to speak to his other cancer patients. So when you can change someone's quality of life and take them out of a death sentence. Uh, you feel good about yourself. I love my patients. I have a great staff. Um, I have, it's like a hobby. I literally come in, you know, we treat our patients like family and we get some pretty incredible results considering the type of patient that winds up on my doorstep.